Bun House in Soho is one of my favourite Chinese spots at the moment uh, in London just because it's really uh, different for London Chinese scene. It's styled kind of like a um, retro Hong Kong diner cafe and it plays like old Chinese music, it's got a really uh, beautiful bar downstairs where they have like a different menu at night and it's just um, a really um, kind of calm place actually, in right smack back in the middle of Soho. Alfie's Antique Market is my go-to vintage destination because A, there's a lot of different stores under one roof. Um, you've got a lot of interiors, a lot of antiques, but then you've got um, clothing specialists as well. I'm very specific when it comes to vintage shopping. I'm like quite picky. Alfie's is probably one of the remaining places in London really old and really special pieces. I've chosen Sir John Stone's museum because it's a place that doesn't feel like a museum. It feels like a, um, a really curated collection of objects, paintings, and when you walk inside, it's just a really beautiful house. I think the highlight of Sir John Zones is the central sepulchral chamber, which is just filled with sculptures, statues, uh, an array of carvings. And it's just a very, very impressive room, especially when you look up from down below in the crypt. It's very, it's very magical actually. Phoenix Gardens is somewhere I've been going to um, since I was a young teenager. It's a garden operated by a charity um, right in the centre of Soho. So when you look around, there's the cinema buildings, uh, the centre point, and um, it's a really kind of wild garden in the middle of town, which is a bit of a contrast. And it's a really great space to come to do a bit of reading, just for a little walk. Um, I now come here all the time with my daughter. I love Word on the Water, which is a really unique bookstore on a narrow boat, uh, kind of moored up by Granary Square. I think that whole area, King's Cross, Granary Square, has changed so much over the years. Um, so I love that there's this sort of um, reminder of the canals and sort of old London and because I grew up in Camden and so the narrow boats remind me of that and it's a really uh, just a tranquil place it's uh, a really unique bookstore